people. Fatherless boys, too many boys are being left to make their own way in the world, left to learn what it is to be a man, what it is to be a male, all on their own. We might not be able to stop this problem, but a group of men are trying to make a difference, mentoring boys uh, through a program called Big Buddy. Maurice Hurley, with this story about one such man is trying to make a difference uh, to one little boy's life. On the field, 10-year-old Mason McQuinn Taylor looks just like all the other boys in his team. That's the way, Mason. But it's who's watching from the sideline that makes Mason a bit different from the rest. Because Roger Firth isn't Mason's father, he's his big buddy. Oh. They were buddied up after Mason's mum realised her son was missing male company. It's an ache on every mother's part when there's a separation and your children don't have a, their dad. Hello. Before Roger volunteered to spend time with Mason, this now cheeky and happy young boy was suffering the effects of too much female company. He was sad most of the time and shy. He didn't tell me why because he couldn't figure it out, but um, I think he needed to feel that someone cared for him. Now once a week, Mason leaves his sisters behind and hangs out with Roger doing blokey things. It's annoying without a boy around. Stick. Mason's learning things most boys with fathers take for granted. Simple things like learning to chop wood, how to light a fire, so you're right above the saw like that. and how to use a saw. I guess it's not really what we do that's important. It's just spending time together, hanging out, just being friends, um, giving Mason someone to listen to him someone to help him with his issues. Roger is one of a group of men who know one man can't save the world, but one man can make a difference to one boy's life. I'm giving him a chance to have some, some form of mentoring and, and to be around men, which um, he probably wouldn't get much of in his life otherwise. So yeah, it's, it always feels good. It's, it's worthwhile. Roger is getting something out of it too, besides getting to act like a big kid. <laughs> I feel a bit seasick. How could you be seasick on a swing? <laughs> it's the perfect practice run for when he becomes a dad in a few months' time. I'd, I'd like to think that the, our relationship will carry on in some form of, or another for life. Despite having to share her husband with someone else, Roger's wife Catherine is supportive of his big buddy relationship. I just can't see it stopping. I'd be devastated. Just to see the fun that he's having, they're both having together. Well, they're both little kids sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's just well, it's wonderful to see them both grow in such a unique relationship. Awesome. Let's go, eh? So Mason and Roger are together for the long haul, through the teenage years and hopefully beyond. With his big buddy's help, this little buddy stands a good chance of becoming a strong and happy man.